Okay. Dick. Hey, good morning, everyone. Elijah with Righteous River Fishing in Oregon. Hope you're all doing well. I'm out here today on another mission, and it's unlike your normal day of fishing because I have an objective. What's my objective? Is to catch a steelhead on a vintage Mitchell Garcia 300 spinning reel. I've got that spooled up with, uh, shoot, now I forgot, 12 or 15 pound, 12 pound, 12 pound um, Maxim Ultra Green line. Anyways, I've spent, uh, in tribute of my father-in-law, trying to catch a steelhead using his old reel, using his old method, drifting on this uh, small river. And so this is my fourth time, fifth, fifth time out here this year, giving it a try. I think the fish are, would be more likely to be around now. So we're gonna give it a go. But wish me luck today um, as I explore the river, as I try to find a later steelhead, and as I try to accomplish my mission to catch a winter steelhead on that old vintage reel. So wish me luck, God bless you, pray for me. Let's go get some fish. We're gonna do a nightmare jig, a light setup, nightmare jig with cured coon shrimp on there for the very first cast. I know I should be using the Garcia reel right now, but I'm gonna start out with bobber fishing because I never seem to get, this is a hard hole to fish drifting. So we'll see what happens. But over there in that soft water, that looks pretty good, truthfully. Oh, almost lost it in the tree. Got to keep it out of the current. That current will take it. But I want it to sit right behind that current in that soft spot, right on the seam without letting my line suck it down real fast. And it should come right into the edge before it takes off. Oh, oh that was a bite. I had a bite. I had a bite. Had, had a bite. Had a bite. Had a bite. Okay. Oh, oh, the bait is gone. Oh, oh, okay, okay. <laughs> I had a bite. I had a bite. Let's go back at it. I'm going to reset this. So now I just need to get this back, see if I can't find that fish. There we go. There we go. I'm a little too close. That's not where it was exactly. But here we go. Let's catch a fish. There's a fish back there. I'm telling you. That was 100% a bite. You know, obviously I don't know what it is, but there's not a lot of trout in this river. These are steelhead in this river. So, oh, I'm snagged. Gosh darn it. Okay. So I'm more confident that it's more likely to be a steelhead. I just have to not hit the bank. There we go. That's the spot. I'm in it. I'm in it. I'm in it. I'm in it. Here we go. That's where the fish was. New bait. Get ready. This is it. It's gonna take it again. Oh, it bit it again. What is wrong with this braid? What the heck? I got bit again. Okay, no luck on my first spot. I actually had a, two bites in a row. So I found where a fish was at. Don't know what it was, uh, but couldn't, couldn't pull it off. So there's one place I'm gonna hit down here just a little bit ways down some deep pools, and then uh, we'll keep moving. All right, let's do this. Okay, now we got a jig. Small nymph jig, tipped with. Ah, uh, coon shrimp. Come on, come on. Let's get a steelhead. Come on. Oh, I got a fish. 
Oh, I got a fish, but it's a small one. Oh, I got one. I got a fish. Holy cow. I actually got a fish. What the heck? I found a fish. Oh my gosh. <laughs> I haven't got a fish all day. Oh my gosh, what is it? I don't know what it is. <gasps> it's a it's a steelhead. I better get my net. Holy cow! Got a steelhead. Oh my, it's a steelhead. Stay with me. Stay with me. Oh, <gasps> I got a steelhead. Oh my gosh! Where's my net? It's up there. Oh my gosh! No, no. Okay, I'm gonna let it go. Look at this thing, I got a steelhead. Stay, stay, stay. Stay, stay, stay. Up here, up here. Got a steelhead. No way. Oh, no way. Come on, stay on. On a micro jig. Come on. Stay on. Stay up. Come up here. I got a steelhead. Okay, this is what's up. Come on. Oh, there he goes. He saw me. <laughs> shoot, 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 shoot. Oh, he's running, he's running. Okay, oh my gosh, it's, it's leaving now. I gotta tighten this up just a hair. Okay, he saw me. I don't have my net next to me. Okay, okay. Okay, here we go. Shut it in. I'm gonna lose this thing. I need my net. Let's get him up over here. We'll try to get it by the tail. Come on. Oh. The plan is... Oh. Grab it by the tail. That's a good one. That's a good steal. Oh. Off it. He didn't like that. He did not like that. That's a good steelhead. How am I going to get my net? If I can keep it wore out here, then I can back up to my net. Here we go. Here we go. Got it. Got a steelhead. Here we go. Nice. Got a steelhead. This is unbelievable. Oh, beautiful. Beautiful movie. Okay. Yo, check it out. Beautiful native. Very dense now. Oh yeah. See that? That's the new micro jig I was talking about. That was my new idea. You know this? Get it going. Whoa. Look at those colors. All right. Hey, so you saw I just caught a steelhead. But I just realized it was my first for three different things catching that steelhead.
first. It was my first steelhead on this small river. I've been trying a long time to get one, so that's amazing. Second, it's my first steelhead on that new micro jig setup that I told you I was gonna fish. It's an eighth ounce uh, pink jig head and a uh, power nymph, um, like a little mini half crawdad thing on there. But anyways, that's what I caught it on. And then first steelhead and fish on this new ultralight fishing rod, Eagle Claw. So I normally don't go with the Eagle Claw, but I got this one. It's a medium light, 10 and a half foot, super nimble. And sure enough, it did great. Uh, Fluger President 35 series, 20 pound a spider wire, invisible braid, down to a real um, lightweight sliding bobber setup, quarter ounce weight, two feet leader, down to my jig. So three firsts with that steelhead and it was beautiful. Yeah, let's go. Deeper than you know, yeah. 